Hi guys, my name is Christian Shastok and I will run you through my new SEO plugin called FAQ Schema for Pages and Posts. I'm assuming that you have already installed it or you're thinking of installing it. Once you install it, it will appear here in the bucket once you've activated it. This is the version 2.0 and it has some really cool new functionality. So how does schema work? Why do we want it, first of all? We want it because on some competitive keywords, if you're ranking well enough, you may be able to show uh, with quite cool, uh, quite cool uh, little drop-downs here in spaces. And that gives you a lot more real estate, right? That uh, doubles your real estate on the results. So for me, that's an awesome opportunity. Let's take advantage of it. That comes through because of FAQ schema. Now, we have a few ways of putting it into the page. The plugin uh, that I'm about to show you today uh, does it by adding it right at the end of the page here. Once you've installed it, you will see these fields in your in your pages or in, and in the posts. And this is when you actually input the question and answer uh, to it. It updates the moment you hit the update button. There is no saving here required. And if you delete them, that's fine. They update on the fly. Now, the new, um, the new functionality in the post is that you can export and import um, the posts from your website. So if I hit export now, you can see how many takes of that video I made <laughs> by the number of files. <laughs> and so if I go um, here to the answers and questions, uh, this is my individual post. That's why it has four rows, because each of the rows is a different question and answer. If I want to add a new one, I add a new row. I copy those bits here into that row. Then I type in question five. Take five. <laughs> answer. And I save the file. Then I go back to the, to the backend. I go here. I take the newest file, which is this one right here, and I import. Now the import has happened successfully. And now I can go to my blog post in the backend, edit it. And now let me just close those extra tabs. I go to the post, and we can see there it is. Question five, take five, answer. Uh, perfect. We can toggle them like this as well, so they're a bit tinier. Now, I'm obviously still making some styling improvements here. Um, if you go to the post itself, again, it's not the accordions are not stylically improved. There will be a 2.01 update in a few days once we've sorted out the styling. But you can style this through custom CSS as well. This looks like this because of the fonts I have. The car FAQ section. Why is that showing? Well, that's a uh, testing. One, uh, I edited here in the bucket. As you can see, I've got uh, the little schema coming through. It just comes uh, through like so in the editor. You can pop it in anywhere on the page you want or anywhere on the post you want. I just use a particular editor, but it will work anywhere. I will change it from color FAQs to our cool schema tests. And an accordion means that they will uh, pop up open and close. So I update it. I go to the page and I refresh it, and now you can see it's updated. It takes a while to load. It's just my website. It's slow. It should be quite fast on yours. And mine sadly has been rebuilt, so it takes quite a lot of time to load. I'm still working on it. Uh, still working on it. Worst practice ever, you know, the shoemaker with no shoes. Um, so you can see it here in the bucket. This is the JSON schema that outputs it. So. There is no conflict here with other SEO plugins. It's independent. It just puts the schema here. And it, the content on the page is editable in the backend or through the import or export. I hope this has been useful. Uh, use the plugin. Leave a good review if it works great for you, if you're getting a lot, of a lot of value from it. We're looking for new versions in the future to be released. And obviously, uh, enjoy. Uh, share it around. Uh, and yeah, that's it really. Drop me an email if you encounter any kind of issues with, of course, I'm, I'm troubleshooting and helping people because there are so many WordPress themes and so many use cases. Uh, sometimes just someone doesn't know exactly how a FAQ schema works. So I'm always there to help you uh, at christianshastuk.co.uk. It may be a bit difficult uh, for you, <laughs> I'm realizing, to type that. So hopefully you're watching it on a page that has some information about me. If you're not, then on the plugins page itself, uh, on the FAQ, you can see here and for me, you can click through to my website or the details. Anyway, have a good day. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your FAQ schema link.